ticker symbol SPY. In this video, we'll be going over my trade idea of the week and the day-by-day -day probability model. So let's start off with the tunnel analysis on the winner chart. We are back into positive MACD. As we extend that to the 4-hour chart, we are remaining positive MACD, seeing signs of a converge. As we extend that further to the daily chart, we are remaining positive MACD and seeing signs of a converge once again. As with the trade idea, my position size for it is less than 1% of my portfolio. My long entry is at $452.73, and that is this range here. My sell target is at $472.40. My stop loss is at $446.86. However, if I were to open a short position, my entry is at $479.97. My sell target is at $458.78. And my stop loss is at $487.76. So whichever entry price were to hit first, that will be my position of the week. So how did I develop the trade ideas? It all comes from the day-by-day -day probability model. As we progress to the fifth day or week of trading, the S&P 500 has a 44% chance to climb between 0 to 3%, a 33% chance to fall between 0 to negative 3%, and a 22% chance to fall between negative 3 to negative 6%. So if you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.